I finished the Red T-Rex star from drawing around 2.45 p.m. It's currently 9.18 p.m. and I think it was about half an hour ago that I decided to start work on the Josh Allen, the quarterback of the Buffalo Bills. This star from drawing in particular is for one, uh, I believe it's for one of Aunt Megan's immediate family members. I ultimately decided to use this piece for Josh Allen because these pieces are part of currently unfinished styrofoam drawing. Projects. This is a stake that Dad got during a Wegmans grocery shopping trip. After work, uh, these are some leftovers from. Yesterday's dinner. It was quite a bit. So after filming, I put this pasta and this bread in the same container along with my fork and put it in dad's fridge to be leftovers. I believe at Wegmans he also got some more beets. I've been uh, keeping up on ongoing developments within the war in Ukraine through frequently refreshing CNN's live mobile page coverage of the conflict as well as checking back on this small but rapidly growing YouTube channel called Military 101, who is currently doing, who is currently covering the conflict in Ukraine day by day. I'm not subscribed to the channel, though I at times keep their channel open in the background within a tab on Microsoft Edge. And checking back the daily video tends to come around 5 p.m., so I tend to check around when it approaches that time to see the latest video. It's a very bad situation as 
all of this has created a humanitarian crisis throughout Ukraine. In regards to the conflict, I tend to have taken a wait-and-see approach. At times, an anxiously waiting to hear if any new developments arise. I think that might partially explain why it took me until the mid-afternoon to finish the red T-Rex star foam drawing. I at times ended up worrying about the war in Ukraine. Yeah, I hear it could potentially result in an increase in food prices, which is not good. And there's been warnings about potential non-state Russian cyber attacks against companies in the United States. I have a general view that the worst case scenario won't occur as long as a NATO member isn't attacked. That worst case scenario being essentially World War III. Since in the event of an attack on a NATO member, Article 5 would be invoked and then NATO members would be treaty bound to go to war on behalf of that member. And at another point, I think sometime between the late morning of starting at 10 p.m., To the early afternoon of 1 p.m., I found this channel called History Legends. Due to, due to them making a new video regarding the war in Ukraine today. Anyways, when I finished the red T-Rex star foam drawing, I shared the picture I had taken of it earlier. to my dad through my phone's Verizon messaging app. And then did the same for my mom.
they were both happy with how it turned out. Uh, there were points in throughout the process in which I felt like I either couldn't do it or maybe it wouldn't turn out the best I could, but I resolved to do the best I could while striking a balance between making the T-Rex as realistic as it could be, well, as realistic as it could be if it were, while still being red, since red was specifically requested for a family member of one of Mom's friends, And taking stylistic deviations from realism in order to, for example, create contrast between the T-Rex's arms slash hand and its claws. and its underside. Slash stomach. And for this uh, red T-Rex star foam drawing, I tried out some blending between two different two different shades of red. These are some of the Sharpie markers I used for the red T-Rex project. And these are the ones I've used so far for the Josh Allen project. I'm currently in the process of recreating the 17 that's on the front of his jersey. That big 17 wall, still hopefully leaving myself enough room for everything else on the front of his jersey. I've currently got four tabs open. That range from two being image searches through Microsoft Bing, and the other two being basically images derived from Wikipedia. And speaking of which, there pages regarding. the ongoing conflict in Ukraine 
have recently tended to be a bit slow to update. Uh, though maybe that's just because those who edit for those pages are trying to clear through the fog of war and before making any edits. Now, last time I checked their timeline for events in the war, it still doesn't have today any events from today on the timeline. I ended up having the last Bob Evans mac and cheese tray around 1.30 p.m. Even though that was intended for noon because I wanted to work on finishing the Red T-Rex styrofoam drawing. Hmm. You know, when I decided to take a break, because at that point, I was just about done, I did my usual thing of following the directions by microwaving for three minutes, stirring and then microwaving for two minutes. Before each microwaving, I would peel a corner back. And then when it was all said and done, I opted to put in just sharp cheddar rather than doing what I initially thought about doing, and that was to mix in both the leftover mozzarella and the newly opened sharp cheddar because the leftover mozzarella had very little left while obviously there was a whole lot of the sharp cheddar. And then I made a last-minute decision to put on some leftover kettle-cooked jalapeno chips that I think came from Wegmans, leaving just a few small handfuls left in that open bag. And the chips I took, I put on top of the mac and cheese after I mixed in with a spoon the sharp cheddar. There were no forks available except for those wrapped in plastic that are plastic forks from McDonald's. That I didn't feel like disturbing at the time. If I recall correctly, 
Yeah, this is the first time Dad has gotten Klondike bars in a long time. Perhaps the first time in months.